Okay, this looks like it's gonna be crap because my front facing camera on my phone has a crack in it. But I just got through Rise of Skywalker and considering this is like probably the biggest movie of the year other than Endgame. I forgot to do thoughts on it. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I've always really liked Star Wars, but I've never gotten much more than surface level. I know, terrible fan, whatever. But I, I grew up watching the prequels. And uh, I've always been a lot more uh, forgiven of their faults. Um, Attack of the Clones is probably one of the ones that I've seen the most just because we owned it. <laughs> on, on VHS and so that being the only Star Wars film I had up until I think we got uh, episode one Phantom Menace on D it was like the, probably one of the first DVDs we ever got I don't know they had their faults and actually Attack uh, Phantom Menace was probably one of the first first uh movies I ever saw in theaters, I was like, I would have been seven years old, so, yeah, but, Rise of Skywalker, probably one of the biggest failures of a overarching story, and the overall uh, direction of a major franchise, over th three movies complete opposite of what the whole Marvel franchise has been and give Marvel lots of credit they had that thing right sitting <laughs> they had a vision and they followed through with it um, no one was surprised at how Endgame and and, uh, shit, I forgot the one before in, in game there, uh, but, uh, anyways, everyone <laughs> who was really deeply into the, the comics knew the, the story direction they were taking with it, and they stuck to their guns, they committed to it, and it was a fantastic ride over a 12-year period to see where that, that whole overarching Marvel franchise came to a close, and yeah, fantastic. The sequel Star Wars movies? What a clusterfuck. Um, they really, yeah, they got the same characters from movie to movie, but there's a little, they don't gel together as a trilogy. JJ did the same thing with uh, Force Awakens there, and it was a decent movie. He played it safe. He needed to play it safe after the, the prequel trilogy. And then Ryan Johnson came in, did his own thing, and yeah, that Last Je Jedi, love it or hate it, and there's been a lot of hate for it. And yeah, there's some really stupid fucking moments in that movie. totally went the opposite direction I believe what they wanted to go and that movie had a lot of pacing issues and yeah it had a lot of pacing issues which is a, a big problem with Rise of Skywalker I mean, you can call this course correction the movie it, it definitely needed to be the story they told in Rise of Skywalker pretty much shits in the last Jedi's direction it should have been that it's own two movies uh, but it raises the problem the biggest problem that everybody has other than the story direction which a lot of hardcore fans are not liking is just they didn't have a fucking plan it I don't really want to go deeply into spoilers um yeah the Emperor's back in it how do they explain he's back? Ah, the whole... The dark side. Oh, I could do... 
stuff with the dark side, black magic. You can explain shit. And then it fucking... <sighs> Goodbye, Anakin's sacrifice from Return of the Jedi. Um, there's that. You got new characters introduced. You find out about Poe's background. And they explain what he did. <laughs> and all I can think of is that... I'm going to fucking break, be right through. They explained that he was a spice runner, which would, Star Wars term, being a, uh, get that out of the, uh, a drug smuggler. But they call it spice. So now all I'm thinking is freaking, oh, uh, Dune. The spice must flow. That's all I got going through my head for half the movie now is like, is Dune part of the Star Wars universe now? <laughs> and yeah. It would have been one thing if they... I don't know. There was a lot of direct... So no, I can't be the only one who thought... Had that going through their head when they made that that announcement. And they introduced an old flame of his. who's She's a badass, but... You don't really want to care for it. Because now she's at the end of the movie. And they're trying to make you care about her. And it's like, I don't know you. Which is a problem. Like, if you, she'd had two movies for them to develop her on, that would have been... Yeah, I might have cared. Rose doesn't do shit. She stands in the background and says stuff from time to time. But it's like, yeah, after all, she was like a co-lead with Finn in The Last Jedi, and now it's like, yeah, Rose, you're here too. Yay. Um, I don't know. There was a hell of a lot wrong with it. The pacing's all over the place because they're trying to get from course direction scene to course correction scene. And you fi finally find out Ray's uh, backstory. Ah, oh, thank you. I wish you hadn't saved that for the la <laughs> last uh, the last thing. But even then, it's like the Emperor shouldn't... I don't know. Having Palpatine come back, I think is... And then the Palpatine coming back is probably the biggest story misstep there is in the whole sequel trilogy. It, Snoke should have been the one in charge. You brought Palpatine back. Why couldn't you bring Snoke back? And I'm just going to flat out say for much of the end of the movie there, Palpatine's like this weird cyborg thing now. I don't know. It, Sith Troopers. They're just Red Storm Troopers. There's, they don't do anything different. The, the Knights of Ren are kind of cool. But they're like the Royal Guard from Last Jedi. I think the Royal Guard did more stuff than the Knights of Ren. They certainly pose more of a threat. Uh, Kylo, they do a thing with him. And I think it's kind of a thing. Uh, it's It feels like a bad anime re redemption arc. Like Naruto. And that's like the only thing... And I don't know fucking shit about Naruto other than just overarching plot details. Because I checked out on that series way, way early as it got done real quick. But it's, it poses a question like, which a lot of animes do. Is that here's a bad guy. He used to be good. Now he's a bad guy. Now he does really terrible things. But we redeemed him at the end. At least he didn't kill young ones. Just think of the young ones. Anyways, this is going to be a 10 minute video, but I figured I'd give my thoughts on it. It's a mess. The biggest problem with the Rise of Skywalker, like I said earlier, is just a complete lack of overarching direction across a three movie stretch. They totally fucked up. 
and unfortunately they did it to the main line um they over oversaturated us with all these side movies like solo we didn't need solo rogue one was kind of cool but for the second half at least the mandalorian's fucking amazing and i can't wait till the season finale <sighs> Yeah. Out of the two major Disney, as I'm holding it, you can see my double chin there. But, I don't know. I wasn't offended like a lot of people, but at the same time, there's a lot of problems. There's a lot of problems. And unfortunately... There's got to be a lot angrier people than I are. Than I am. Wow, that was some terrible wording out of my mouth. But anyways, I'm going to try to get a Wookiee Drives out towards the end of the week. Or ready to get out there because my parents' internet is freaking terrible. So, and the last time I tried to upload a video up here in Maine, it took two full days to get it out. So, time to go get, time to go to work. Rise of Skywalker, it's probably on the par with uh, Revenge of the Sith. It's not offensive like The Last Jedi or The Phantom Menace. It's definitely not boring like Attack of the Clones. But it's not the first two, it's not the first two movies, it's a lot of problems and then it goes to show like a lot of problems I don't know I'm just trying to poop out my thoughts as as I'm trying to break down in my head I probably should have waited but all right, fuck it Kathleen Kennedy said fuck it with this thing I don't know this is you'll see there was going to be a lot better breakdowns than this whole disaster of how not to put out a trilogy. And then, like I said, the real fucked up part about it is that within the Disney collective, you had Marvel that showed the right way how to do it. Anyways, it is, I'm the Wookiee with my Renault F1 hat and... This is gonna be terrible. Looks like I'm my. I can see my screen's freaking out there because apparently that front-facing camera is really fucked up. So, anyways, and it's dark. Those are my thoughts. I've rambled on for way too long. There's a lot of problems. It's probably a five out of ten. I don't know. I'll probably hate it more in a day or two, but. Those are my thoughts immediately leaving the movie. Have a good night.